Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to process a seascape image like this and turn it into something like this. And it's all done very, very quickly in Lightroom. To get started working on this image, the very first thing I'm going to do is to straighten this extremely crooked horizon. So I'm just going to click here on the Crop Tool, take the Angle Selector here, and I'm going to drag over what I can see is the horizon line. It's a little difficult because this is a set of islands. So let's just try that. And I'm just going to click Done. I'm going to crop this image further later on, but for now I just want to get the horizon a little bit straighter. I'm going to do my basic adjustment. So the image is underexposed. I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit, not all the way up because I'm probably going to do that with my white point in a minute. I'm going to drop my highlights down a bit so that I get the sky back. And I'm going to pick a white and a black point. So I'm going to Alt or Option drag on this white slider. And I need to see where the whites are. OK, so that's the beginning of my whites. So I'm just going to back this off until that has just gone. So that's plus 67. So that's got me a white point in my image. And now let's go back to my black point. And again, I need some blacks. Now I'm a bit happier having actual black pixels here. So I'm going to select that. You can see that that's fixed my histogram. The black and white points have helped me get the histogram right. And I haven't needed to add a heap of extra exposure. But I've got a lot more detail in the image already. This is the before and this is the after. So it's already a fair way towards where I want it to be. Now I can add a little bit of extra clarity to increase the crispness and perhaps a little bit of vibrance just to help it out. But the actual colors that I want in the image, I think I'm going to have to put in by hand. And I'm going to do that with a graduated filter to start off with. So I'm going to click here on the graduated filter. And I want this one to go along the horizon. It's going to fix the sky. So I'm going to click on the horizon line and drag downwards so that it is attached to the top of the image. Now, when the graduated filter does this stupidity rotation thing, just put it down because you're just never going to win with that. And as soon as you've got it down, you can come out to the edge to where it has those two little bent arrows. And then you can drag it around. And you can do that with precision. The other thing is, if you want it to be dead straight, you can just hold the Shift key as you drag it down. And then it is dead straight. So let's just make sure that there's nothing here. So I'm just double clicked on Effect. And that's made everything here zeroed back out. So I'm just going to drop the exposure in the sky just a little bit. And I want to enhance the color. So I'm going to increase the saturation in the sky. I just want it to be a bit bluer. And I can bring down my highlights as well, which just might bring a little bit of detail into those clouds, which really were pretty wonderful. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll just click Done. And next what I want to do is I want to bring in a little bit of color and lightness into this area of the ocean. So I'm just going to click here on the adjustment brush. And because I'm going to select a sort of uneven area, I'm going to use the adjustment brush. Now it's got auto mask on. So let's just turn the overlay mask on so we can see what we're selecting. So I'm going to sort of select a rough area like this. I don't want to get too much into that island. So if it looks like it's going to the island, I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key. And that turns the brush into a razor. And I can just erase off this mask. So right now, the mask is just telling me the areas that I have selected. So that's looking pretty good. Let's turn off the mask. And let's just increase the exposure just a little bit to get the impression that there's some sunlight perhaps coming through these clouds. And we could actually add a little bit of color in here too. So you could add a little bit of blue, or you could add a little bit of pink. I've sort of got a pastel thing going on right now. So I'm just got a pink here, but it's at 9%. Well, I'm just going to back it off to probably about 2%. And then just close this dialog. So there's just this hint of pink in this area. Now, if I wanted to sort of peter it out a little bit, I can go back into the eraser. And I'm going to add a really big feather to my eraser. And 
make that brush a bit bigger. So now what I can do is just come in here and just erase off the edges to make the mask just a little bit softer. You can also decrease the flow and that will also help just to raise off these edges and just make it a little less apparent that I've added an adjustment in there. So I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll click Done. The last thing I'm going to do is deal with this cliff face here because this is the Channel Islands, so there's the potential for this to be one of those lovely cliffs very similar to what you'll see in Dover. And certainly a lot lighter and more attractive than it is right now. It has the possibility, but it's just not quite there. So I'm just going to make my mask across this island, going into the Alt key and resetting my brush if I need to. To This is my eraser brush to just erase off areas if I want to. Let's turn Auto Mask off so I, the eraser can be a little bit more accurate. Turn that off and now let's just increase the exposure a little bit here and we'll increase clarity so we get just a little bit of extra crispness there. I think I've got the exposure up a little bit high. So I'll click Done. Now this image has got a huge slab of rock in our faces here. I think a final crop is probably what it needs. So I'm going to go and get the crop overlay. I'm going to make sure it's not locked down because I don't want to go to the original out of camera image. I want to start bringing this in a little bit and just see if I can improve on the composition. Now I'm not going to go quite rule of thirds here because I don't want to lose too much but I think this is a better composition for this shot. So let's have a look at the before. That's the cropped before and then the after. So we've been able to improve this image, just add a bit of light and a little bit of colour and just make the sky more interesting. It really is just a sort of five minute plus fix in Lightroom. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.